Today, we are going to be writing the formula for the ionic compound potassium cyanide. So let's start from left to right. I have potassium here, and if I scan the periodic table, potassium is right here. Potassium is a K, and it's a group one metal, so it's a plus one charge. So I'm gonna write K being a plus one. Now, cyanide is a little tricky. It does have an IDE ending, that kind of represents that it's a nonmetal, but if you scan the periodic table, you will never find like a cyanium, right? This is actually a polyatomic ion. So star this one, guys. Even though it has an IDE ending, it's still classified as a polyatomic. Cyanide is always CN with the minus one. Okay, so just remember these polyatomics. So cyanide is CN with a negative one charge. Now, since we have the charges, all we gotta do is crisscross them, okay? And that tells us how many of each we need. So this plus one crisscrosses, telling me that I need one CN, and this negative one crisscrosses down to the potassium, telling me that I need one uh, potassium. Now, when you crisscross, remember, the charges kind of vanish. It's just like the positive whole numbers, one, two, three, four, et cetera. So now let's just start naming. I have potassium, I have one of them. If you have one of something, you don't need to write it. So you don't have to write the one here. And the same thing for the cyanide, right? The same thing for the CN. So I'll just write CN, I don't have to write one. And that's it. So potassium cyanide is K CN. Thank you so much for reviewing the video. I really hope this helped. Let me know in the comments. Give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And I'll see you in future lessons. Bye-bye.